Hi, thanks for hanging out. In this video, I'll show you how I make this simple and modern console table. Let's get after it. I'm going to make the base frames rectangular and I'm making those out of this 20 millimeter square tube that's 1.6 mil thick or around about three quarters of an inch square by about a sixteenth of an inch thick. I'll tie that together at the top with a mid rail to provide a bit of extra support for the top as well. Let's cut some steel. That cheap chop saw really does a terrible job of cutting steel. I need to invest in a, in a much better saw to be able to do this kind of work. I'm going to trim all the excess dags off on the, the belt sander and then we'll see if we can straighten up these edges and get them all uniform ready for welding. Got this clamped in place nice and square ready to weld it. I'm going to use a new welder with a larger range on it to get a low voltage to try to eliminate the blowout that I might get with this thinner material. The old welder I had was the cheapest welder that you could buy off Amazon at the time and I don't think that the low voltage is going to let me weld this easily. So let's try that, get this welded together and see how it looks. That was the first welding job with the new welder. The control is night and day difference to the, the little MIG I was using before. The welds are a little bit daggy as I was getting used to the new welder. I felt like I was getting better quite quickly. Adjusted the voltage just a little bit to be able to get a nicer weld, not quite as hot, and then I didn't have any issues with blow through at all. So I'll grind these off, see how they look and touch up any areas that I need to and then it's on to the next one.
timber top I'm using for the hallway table is 18 millimeters thick or around about three quarters of an inch thick. I think the distance between the two end frames is too far for that to be self-supporting. I'm adding in this cross piece to help support the timber top as well as give the frame some extra rigidity. Let's get that welded in and see how it turns out. I'm really pleased with how square I managed to be able to get this frame considering the setup that I used. I don't have a welding table and that was the best that I could do with the equipment that I have and I'm really happy with the results. The next step now will be to drill some holes in the frame to be able to mount the table to and get it painted up and then this project's close to being done. I wanted this to be quite a quick project and this is a practical piece of furniture. It's not an heirloom piece of furniture or anything that's designed to be a high quality. And these pre-finished boards from the local hardware supplier are a great stand-in to hand making a top for this. They come in a range of sizes and thicknesses and different types of timber and they're a great option if you're like me and you need something done quite quickly. This particular piece is 1200 millimeters long, 300 millimeters wide and 18 millimeters thick or around about four foot by foot by three quarters of an inch. What I need to do now is put a clear coat on this to get it finished and paint the legs. Let's get that done and we'll wrap this project up. We'll get this cleaned up and wiped down with wax and grease remover and then put on a couple of coats of gloss black. The finish I'm using for the board is an oil-based clear satin varnish. It'll give me a nice durable hard coating when it's dry. Let's get the board prepped and get it finished.
The top has now had two coats, it's dry and it's beautiful and smooth. I did a very light sand in between coats with some 220 sandpaper which takes off the little raised bits of grain that pop up after the first coat. The satin finish I'm loving, I think it looks fantastic. Let's get the base, put it all together and see how it looks. That's this project all wrapped up now. I'm really, really pleased with how this has turned out overall. I'm happy I added the brace underneath to provide some support for the top as well as help brace the ends. If this was a larger table, that small tube and the height that this is would need a brace, that would be something I would change into the future. Otherwise, this is going to do the job that it's designed to exceptionally well and I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. And until next time, remember, life's short, so get after it.